Thank you. Well, as we know, we rarely see this much record setting rain in just one day, but when we do, history has shown us the really devastating consequences. In the past three decades, though, the Regional Flood Control District has been working to protect homes, lives, and property. And 13 investigative reporter Joe Bartels shows you the progress that has been made and why it will take many more years until the projects are finished. Well, certainly a lot has changed in the valley in the past 30 years. A lot of work has been done, especially on the west side of the valley here, where these detention basins have been built to to steer the water away from homes and businesses. But as the valley continues to grow, we're told it is a constant work in progress. The basins and channels are built to prevent scenes like this. A work truck stuck in fast moving floodwaters Thursday night on Charleston west of the 215. Road crews say the driver went around the barricades. The rushing water also preventing some people from getting home. I live out in Calico Basin and um, just probably about half a mile before the turnoff. Um, it, it's just washed out. Jason Williams had to take the long way around, but eventually got home. But access to Red Rock cut off for the night. And when you can't get to your house, it's it's kind of hard. If you're a tourist, you just come back the next day. The valley itself largely spared from floodwaters, but it wasn't always that way. It looks like the rescuer is is wading through the water. September 11th, 2012, a day many in the valley won't forget. Torrential rains swamped established neighborhoods, especially on the east side. One person was swept away and killed. But flood control measures have improved just within the past five years. That area no longer considered a flood risk. But we get calls, you know, people buy homes in the far, far northwest and they're straight flooding there. You know, we haven't finished every piece of the puzzle yet. Take a look at this color coded map. The blue shows completed flood channels and detention basins since the mid 80s, like veins across Clark County, about 620 miles worth so far. The red showing planned channels and basins. Las Vegas keeps growing. Uh, we add new projects every couple years because people keep moving here. Housing developments keep getting built. Um, and so we think we have about 30 more years to build. 34 more detention basins and about 200 more miles of channels are planned. But for now, some parts of the valley remain at the mercy of nature. Joe Bartels, 13 Action News, elevating Las Vegas.